Good morning. Good morning. Put my slippers back on. Just weighed myself. I'm at 190. So, I guess it's true when they say um, you can lose weight in your sleep. So I ironed, I washed my face, brushed my teeth, put on a little lotion. Y'all jealous. Good morning anyways. But you look jealous so. Alright. I don't know why you're jealous. You can have some lotion. Shoo, yeah. Boop, 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 boop. Job. Okay, so. How I told y'all that my bonnet do his own thing while I'm sleeping. I use a rubber band. I gather it in the back like that and uh and be careful not to grab your hair the little extra little freely that stick around because i did that a couple times and it hurt so move it off your hair and then gather it pull it up there and then bam you sleep well i wasn't i still have trouble sleeping i didn't take anything to sleep but um because I did the um, liver focus last night and I didn't want to have, I don't know how that will work with melatonin and liver focus in your system about around the same time. So. Just my regular smegula do. I got up later than what I wanted to get up. But I'm up. The Lord saw favor that he woke me up. saw favor that he woke me up and he woke you up too because you're watching this so happy wake up day got a little line from the um bonnet wasn't expecting that all right i don't know do i leave it down or do i cuff it i think i'm gonna cuff it How that look, y'all? Check myself. Okay. Okay. Okay, not bad. Not bad at all. Everything away. Okay, so show y'all my little time and true dress can y'all see that it has pockets yep so i'm wearing that to work today so yes don't be get yourself one walmart time and true Jeez, hold on all right i'm back all right i've been up for a very long time so it's almost 8 a.m. Um, and I've been up since like 6 a.m. Let me see. Nope. Do I want it hot? Yeah. So I put that in there when I got up to go potty in the 6 o'clock hour. 
Um, so I put that in so that it can brew. It's the peach flavor. You know that blackberry, blueberry, what is it? Blackberry apple cider, a little jealous today. I'm trying to think if I should take y'all on my journey to work. I need something. Where is it? Um, I'm about to find it. I'll just take this one this is really good so <coughs> coronavirus I'm just kidding so um, I use this if you make toast buttery toast sprinkle it on there while it's hot oh. but I'm not making toast but I have some just plain Cinnamon. I might, but y'all ain't got time for me to try to look for that. So, uh, we're going to make that Gaud Gaudena coffee. I could be saying that wrong, but that whipped coffee that everybody's doing, we're going to make that at work today. And I just want to bring something to um, possibly spice it up. Never had it. And I really have been cutting down. Oh, I put chocolate up there. I really have been cutting down on my coffee because um, every day at work, I would make coffee. We have a Keurig there, and we have all those flavor pods, and we always bring all the fufu creamers. So hold on. about y'all but I don't want no chunk of um, collagen to come up my straw so if I don't wait, I have to give me some more I don't know I'm gonna have a good three or four scoops left get yourself some of that I don't know if you'll thank me later you might but why not why not try Devil's time's up, no longer can he bother me. Just up the shoulder of the universe, he bothers me. Let's transfer over for you right now, just wait and see. It's a new season, it's a new season. I don't own the rights to that music, but it's a new day. <clears throat> a fresh anointing is flowing my way. Season of power and prosperity. It's a new season to me. 
All right, what message Yogi's got for me today? It is not talking of love, but living in love. That is everything. Okay, then. Hold on. Y'all don't believe me. Focus now. Focus. This camera won't let me. It's jealous. Come on here. A little jealous self. All right, now. About to put on my shoes. Um. So, with this dress, you can see all, you know, the girl belly, you know. Which is cool, I guess. But... I don't want that. You know? I don't want that. I don't want to see my belly. But we're going to see it because I'm in the process of losing it. So don't be jealous. There's my little focus again. See some of them benefits there? Can you read it? Can you see? Okay, I'll read it for you. It says, supports liver health, promotes liver detoxification, antioxidant support, vegan and gluten-free. There's 120 capsules. It's a dietary supplement. And it says, rejuvenating, cleanse, and detox formula. Let's see. So two capsules daily. I believe you graduate up to, uh, you do two capsules for the first two days and then the third day going forward, you take three capsules. Last night I took one, the day before I took one. And um, so today I'll take two tonight before bed. <laughs> All right, so um, put my little pocket in. So I'm putting on my shoes. I might, hold on. I have to go get some lotion. Huh? I'm wearing some flats today. Those are time and true as well. Those flats. I'm a rock. I haven't worn flats since COVID started, pretty much. Um, because not when it started, but once we um, got the okay to not have to come in every day. So, I still like, still like to be, look decent when I go to work, because it's work. You don't want to look decent when you go to work. That's your business. But you probably should start. Make it, you know, eventually it'll become a habit. But, um, I'm going to be so happy when I start to see my future videos. When I don't have all these rolls. Roll out! Yes. Because it's going down. Remember when I was so small, um, I didn't realize how cute I was, snatched all in the waist and everything, because I used to wear baggy clothes. I used to shop mostly in the men's section. I wasn't a tomboy or anything, I just didn't, I don't know, I like to show my shape or wear things that feel tight. I mean, some of my clothes might look tight, but I don't like them to feel tight. So, um, yeah, all my clothes were baggy, but, um, they wasn't hanging off my waist. They fit my waist. Um, but they were loose. You know, back in Chicago, people, you know, you'd think you'd be, you were walking, you have to double take, like, am I naked? the way men call, you know, cat call, cat call, 
hey baby, hey ma, hey, you know, you hear me talking to you, you got a man, I got a man, I don't care, like, but as soon as you get with him, with that man you already had before him, then it's a problem. Like, leave me alone. I'm out of my business, you know? I got a man, like, even though I don't. Like, I don't want to be bothered, you know? Sometimes we just need some time to ourselves. Y'all going to hear my alarm in a minute. Um, just a reminder to clock in. Um, but ain't nobody got time for that. Like, I'm trying to get myself right and, you know, focus, you know, I had kids, you know, so, you know, focus on the kids and stuff, like, I don't know, I don't know, but I'm glad, I'm glad I don't live there anymore. And I'm glad my children didn't have to experience, like my three older boys, they experienced some of it. My oldest one was 13 when I left. So 13, 12, 13, 11, and um, oh, maybe it was 12 when I left. It sure was. Yeah, so 13, 12, and 10. I think it was 10. 13, 12. Oh, there it is. Clock in, girl. I'm clocking in. Hold on. Clock in on my work y'all I don't know why the um good punched in successfully I don't know why the um iPhones why the screen the it's so tiny It's May 6th. Tomorrow is two babies' birthday. There'll be two. Two babies will be two. They are babbling and, you know, they say little words, you know. Leah, baby, hi, bye, thank you. You know, all those little baby words. And we try to, they try to talk to me when we FaceTime. It'd be so cute. Like, jibba, 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 jibba. I'm like, huh? Jibba, 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 jibba. What you trying to say? Jibba, 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 jibba. Then they throw a little dad dad in there. I'm like, boy, I do not look like your dad dad. You know, so, yeah, I don't know. But if the coffee turns out, the whipped coffee, if that turns out good at work, um, I'm going to show y'all when I get home or tomorrow or something. I'll show y'all how um, how we did it and my honest review on how it tastes and what we used and stuff like that. Um, so I packed some milk and it's um, almond milk. I packed my blender. I packed some, um, it's Nescafe instant coffee um, and it's caffeine for decaffeinated so I like to drink coffee for the taste and not for the to wake me up and those of you who are listening okay coffee should not um, be used although it can be and a lot of people do this it should not be used to wake you up if you're healthy and right and stuff like that, um, you should wake up naturally. Um, but 
Some people don't. And some people need it. I mean, you know, to each his own. But I'm just saying, coffee should not be needed to wake you up. I drink it for the taste, especially in the cold months. Um, that hot just get me. I, I don't like to be cold, so I drink it for that reason. So, my nose is running and itching. I turned the air off. It's, it's getting a little um, hot. So, the air. So, typically, I use a not typically, lately, I've used a fan. Since I went into premenopause, the cancer jacked up my hormones and took me into early menopause last year. So, not up until like a couple months ago, I started to sleep with the fan. And the hot flashes, when they first started, oh my gosh, I don't know who can attest to this, but this is how they started with me. Um, I started to feel really hot, then really cold, and then both at the same time. I don't know how else to explain that, but I was hot and cold at the same time, and I had no idea what was going on with me. Um, and so, and that was around a time where I couldn't sleep and stuff. So uh, I reached out to my <laughs> cancer center and they told me that's probably what that was. So they told me to take, um, I wanna say magnesium, I could be wrong, um, but I don't like to take pills, you know? So I figured like it'll go away on its own or whatever else, but I had been struggling with that for a good little couple weeks or so. And I was like, oh my God, I have no idea what's wrong with me, you know? And so they said it probably took me into premenopause. And sure enough, because I haven't had a cycle since October of 2018. No, but yeah, at my last one, October 2018, I started radiation in November. Let me think. October. As a matter of fact, I was on my last one when they started radiation. Because I remember I left, I, it might be TMI, but... I asked them to put an extra cloth on, on the machine uh, because I was in my last day or so of it, of the cycle. And I don't want to mess up their little, what they had going on. So, you know, so you have to go like pull your bottoms down if you're wearing pants or whatnot, pull it down to your ankle. And that was a little like, just give me a robe. Let me just take them off, you know? Because um, I have to focus on the area where the growth was. And it was down in the lower region. So, I don't know if everybody going in there had to take their pants off. Because I don't know what everybody's cancer was. But, yeah, I had to do that. Um, and that was October of 2018. And I haven't had a cycle since. So, but yeah. Um, anyways, I start, I sleep with a fan and I put it on low and I don't put it on me. It's like I do the oscillating so it just cools the room, not necessarily me because I don't like to be cold. And because uh, I'll be under the blanket cold and then I'll have to throw the blanket off hot because I'm hot. And then I leave my feet out or I cover up my butt and leave the top half all and my feet out, if that makes sense. Um, then I'm like, turn on the air, turn off the air, turn on the heat, turn on the fan, turn down the fan. It's cold in here. It's hot in here. You know, it, I know my poor kids and husband thought I was nuts, but it's just how I was feeling. So, but it's drastically changed. So, um, so for the last couple of days, cause the girls broke their fan and took mine, I kept the air on, but it's. It's up high, 74, 75, between 74 and 78. Because it's so hot outside. It's like in the hundreds already. We should be going, y'all. But, um, yeah, I don't know. So I'm going to finish my tea. We're going to make the coffee. I don't know what time. 
We're going to start making the coffee at work. Um, but um, I'll let y'all know. I'll let y'all know how it is. And then I'll try it when I get home too. Just in case y'all want to make it. I don't want to be filming at work. So I'm not going to film what we do this morning. Although we don't have any members there. We stopped all member programs at our office due to COVID. So they're um, staying home. Um, so that's that. So I'll talk to you all. Thank you all for tuning in. Thank you all for um, just being there, you know. And if you like this video, share it, please. And be sure to like it, like literally, like touch like, like click it and share it because somebody else might like it. I don't know if some of the stuff I'm talking about might help somebody else or just for the sake of sharing it, helping a girl out, you know, that's all that is. So I'll talk to you guys later.